Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergaga.com. Today's tutorial will focus on one of the nagging limitations of the VLOOKUP function Excel. This limitation is its inability to retrieve data from columns to the left of where it is looking. For example, the sheet we have open here, our plan is to look for the maximum sales total which is displayed already in cell E3, thanks to use of the max function, and return the salesperson who achieved that sales total. Now this involves looking in column B and then returning the information from column A, something that the VLOOKUP function would not be able to do because that column is to the left. Now there are many different ways of achieving this. Uh, from bringing in helper columns to just changing the layout of your data so that the name column is to the right of where you're after. However, the, the option we're going to go for is we're going to use the index function and the match function together. And these will enable us, it's, a, it's much more flexible, much more versatile lookup function when used together, uh, a much, much better alternative to the VLOOKUP function, most people will say. Maybe not quite as simple. Uh, but much more powerful. Okay, let's find this top salesperson in cell E4. I shall start to enter the index function. A function, as it tells you there, will return the value from the intersection of a row and column. Okay, now I'm going to supply the column for it. I'll tell it to look down column A. But a row will be returned by the match function. So let's start that off. The index function, where do I want it to look? I want it to look down column A, so I'm going to give it the range A2 to A7. Look down there. And I'll put in my comma. Now it's asked me what row. What row you know, is the value that I want to return? Well, I don't really know that. This is what I want the match function to find for me. So I'm going to enter the match function here. Now the match function will turn the row or column number uh, where the value you're trying to find resides. So the match function now is asking what am I trying to find? Well I'm trying to find the maximum sales total, which I know is 4050. So I'll click on E3. Where do I want it to look for it? Well I want it to look for it down column B, so B2 to B7. And what type of match am I looking for? Approximate or exact? I'm looking for an exact match, so I'll enter zero there and close it down. So what should be happening here is the match function will look down column B. We'll find the answer of what have we got here? Two. And tell the index function to look in row two of its array. So it will return Harry Carpenter, because that is in row two of column A. Just put another closing bracket to close down the index function there and press enter. And there we have Harry Carpenter. So what we do is we have a match function looking for 4050 within here and returning the answer of 2. The index function will take that, look down here and bring back whatever's in row 2. I.e. Harry Carpenter. But together a very flexible look at function that can look for values in columns to the left. Um, yeah, and sounds like a much better alternative to the lookup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful. Feel free to check out more of our tutorials at computergargar.com.